Hello, this is Mark with Bailey Software. This tutorial will give an overview of using reports in Fund Manager. To create a report window, go to the Reports menu and you can select from any of the available report types. We'll take a look at a simple portfolio value report. Whenever you create a new report, you'll be presented with the Report Settings dialog box where you can give the, the report a title, um, you can switch which report type you want to create, can select which sub-portfolio you want to report on. When you report on a particular sub-portfolio, everything at and below that level of sub-portfolio will be included in the report. You can choose whether or not to subtotal. You can subtotal by any of these items. And you can choose what to list by in your uh, report. You can list by any of these available items. So we'll subtotal by sub-portfolio and we'll list by investment. You can also uh, filter your report. So for example, if you only wanted to report on a certain symbol or investment type, um, you could use the filter options to filter by any of these items. But we're not going to turn on a filter for this sample. And then you can just choose the uh, report date. You can have up to six date ranges in a single report, but for this report we're just going to have one and then just use done to create your report. Once you have a report created, if you need to make any changes, you can just go to the edit report settings dialog box and reopen the settings dialog. You can resize any of the columns by clicking and dragging on the divider in the header section. And under the options menu, you can control a variety of things about your report. There's some miscellaneous preferences. You can set colors and fonts, etc. We'll take a quick look at the preferences dialog box. In the preferences dialog box, um, some reports have their own particular tabs, like the open lots report, where you can choose which columns to display. Um, there's also a set of global options that apply to all reports. There's a variety of settings that you can experiment with in here. You can sort your report by any of the displayed fields using the sort menu. So if we wanted to sort by value, we could choose that option. Reports are top level windows, which can be managed under the window menu, just like graphs and the portfolio editor. So from the window menu, we could organize all our open windows, we can close this particular report, or we could switch to any other currently open top level window. So we'll just go ahead and close this report window, and so that puts us back at the portfolio editor. Next we'll take a quick look at the custom report. A custom report is a very flexible report where you choose which fields to add. In the custom report you'll notice you have an additional button here called custom settings which allows you to add in any fields that you want. So we'll go ahead and quickly make up our own custom report. We'll add the beginning value um, and you can filter uh, which fields are shown. So if you know you only want like value-based fields, for example, you can filter it by value-based fields. And we'll add ending value, the amount that we invested in between the starting and ending, the dollar gain, and we'll put a ROI yield on here as well. You can reorganize the fields by selecting them and using the move up and move down buttons or you can click and drag and drop to put them in the order that you want. Once you have all the fields included in the report that you want, just say OK and pick a date range. We'll say year to date and then say done to go ahead and create the report. And if we wanted to sort this report by ROI yield, we would just say sort ROI. And let's say we only wanted to look at the TD Ameritrade. We could go back to edit report settings and choose just that one sub-portfolio. And now we're only looking at items that are in TD Ameritrade. And we're sorted by ROI yield. 
If you have a particular report that you want to look at often, you can memorize reports. Just go to the Edit menu and choose Memorize, and you can give it a name. And then in, uh, if we wanted to recreate this report in the future, just go to the Reports menu and all your memorized reports are listed at the bottom. So just to recreate any memorized report, just click it from that list. From the Edit menu, you can copy the text of a report or you can copy it as an image to the clipboard. And um, also from the File menu, you can export a report to a CSV file. You can, in the Advisor version, you can email it to uh, your client um, or you can batch do batch printing on this report. Okay, thanks for watching this quick overview of using reports in Fund Manager.